Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Wofford Terriers and the Houston Cougars. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Cougars are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. First, keep the mental mistakes to a minimal. Turnovers can be the story of this one, baby. Next, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. Thirdly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The ball goes out of bounds. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The shooting guard takes the pass. Goes in. Inside, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Number three is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Count it. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Trying to pack it inside, and he'll kick it back outside. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Way out on top, controlling the ball. From beyond the arc, off the rim and no good. Number five takes the feed. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. Inside. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post flashes for the ball handler. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? The center gets the pass for the bucket. In and out. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. And he'll kick it back outside from three-point territory. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Fed the low block. The center gets the ball. Nice fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer.
Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. He keeps the dribble as they reset. In the paint. Double team down that angle. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. On the top of the circle. Dick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the... He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line, shooting one. Makes it. That's a 7-0 run. He'll regroup the offense. They work it around the perimeter. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Number 24 draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul and, oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. It's two at the charity strike. The Terriers are a frustrated bunch right now, I think. Hey, it doesn't take much to bring the emotional level down, Brad. All it takes is a couple of turnovers, missed shots, and poor decisions, and the coach even goes wacky. Up for two. Oh, yes. Here it is. From the top of the key, he makes the shot. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He attempts the three. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. He gets the bucket to fall. A 
the outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working it around the perimeter. Number one steals the ball. Number one is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. They'll work it around the arc. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Got a okay. nice screen. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Up and inside. The power forward with the ball. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Way off target. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Dump it inside. For the bucket. Dick, are we witnessing the beginning of a blowout here? We are. Things don't change in a hurry. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fake. He shoots from right of the circle. Makes the shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Great anticipation. That's great court savvy to get in the way of that pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number one, he gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. Number 30 makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. They will line him up. It's good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. And in and out. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Number 21 takes it away. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the bucket. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the sp He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. We might have ourselves a blowout here. 
looks that way, Brad. It's been a very lopsided outing so far. There's a double team waiting there. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Stolen away. They move it up in a hurry. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. From the top of the circle, he pops it from way downtown. Pass right to the defender. They've left him completely alone. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He misses it. Strong rebound and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. And I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Number two is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He makes the first shot. Second one, no good. Now the rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. He tries the three ball, goes. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post player flashing. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Perfectly executed. Down in the low post, defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Nice high post screen. Great anticipation defensively. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. is foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post flashes for the opportunity. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. The Terriers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He grabs the rebound. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot.
He shoots from left of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Should have basketball help one another communicate. Not, get, not getting it up. The senior leader puts it in plus one. He made a big basket right there at the right time, Brad. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Working it around the perimeter. Looks at the three. Off the rim and no good. A little frustration right there. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork. To, ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from long range, way off target. Turns it over. For two, perfectly executed. In the paint for the bucket. Got it. That was definitely worth the second look, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's giving the offense the blues. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Momentary look from three-point land. Great shot. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Off the rim and no good. Two. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Hey, 
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket, the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. With a deep shot from outside, way off target. He tries to beat the clock. At halftime, the Cougars are up by 18. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Houston is getting a lot of rebounds, Dick, in that first half. Hey, Brad, these boys gave a monstrous performance on the board. They were relentless in retrieving the rock. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Erin. For the deuce, the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He attempts the three. He cleans the glass. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He does the sweet fake shot. Tries for two. Off the mark with a shot. On the outside, the power forward handles the pass with the fake. Here's the three ball. Poor decision there to shoot that three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. The center receives the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there let him think about it for a while. Blocked. Took that screen away. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Goes up for two. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Unloads a three, buries it. Let's get a replay, baby. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is getting... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's got a nice shot fake. He intercepts it. the dribble gives it up that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn for the bucket i tell you the jump hook so effective especially against a big post player very difficult to block that shot
The center receives the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. Fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Makes the foul shot. He makes all of them. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He pump fakes. The point guard handles the feed. He lets it go. Too strong. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. That's good. He goes for three. You betcha. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. From downtown, he gets that one to fall. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Good fake. Looking for a good shot. From the top of the circle, it won't fall. High post screen. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. With the free throw. He hits the first. Misses the second shot. He gets the board. For two, in and out. Gave it up. He tries the three. He drains it. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. it out tries for two with a layup they've got a player spotting up on the three 
The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. They still don't score. They work the perimeter. Pump fakes. Foul charge. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Working it around the perimeter. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Fakes it. There's the pick. There's the roll. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cap down. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Number one with the basket catch for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potatoes did? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. He'll go to the line. Makes the shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? All right, thanks, Aaron. Perfectly executed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Rims out. Tries for two. And off the mark. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Hits the second shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Off the rim and no good. He looks for three. Rims out. Up and inside. Sets the screen for his teammate. Goes up for two. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket.
He shoots from outside. Gets it to go. The Cougars are ahead by 19. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They are struggling from trifecta land so far. Yeah, they're having serious trouble hitting the shot tonight, Brad. That's surprising for this team. The fake with the fake. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From three-point range. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the pass. There's a high screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. There's the trap. From way outside. Way off target. He shoots from right of the circle. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Houston are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Picks off the lazy pass. With the jump hook. Off the rim and no good. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He puts up the tray. Off the mark. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Here's a flash from the high post. Number 33 comes back out onto the floor. Major swing in energy would hit back on the floor, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. He unloads. It's good. That's a 10 nothing run. different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Pick
kicked out of the air. For two, not there. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Look at that spacing. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Can't put it down. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Post flashes. From top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. On the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Tries for two. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Unloads. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. It's stolen. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Step out on that screener. He blocks the shot. Way off target. Got the high pick. He puts it in with contact and all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point lane. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Yeah. 
And a momentary look from three. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Number 42 with the fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Gets the rejection. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it go. That's good. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it, keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Cougars came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now.